Hello and welcome. This is um, the, I believe, the fourth lecture in my 10 part series on my revamping math, a calculative approach. We're discussing geometry and how it all comes back to the circle because that is the inspiration for what I hope to be an awakening, a revamping, a revolution in math. And that sounds so ambitious, and quite frankly, it is. But Listen, that's how I'm going about this, so that's how I will think about it. Um, in the last lecture, we covered a lot of things, um, but what we distilled was um, it's not enough to think about geometry, but when you, once you discover that there's a property of the circle, and that is a duality in property. So if we ask what the sides of a circle is, it is both zero and approaching infinite, and we determined that in the last lecture. Um, if you recall. Um, okay, so <clears throat> what I will say now is um, we, we're, 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 what we're doing now is we're looking for relevancy in number theory followed by application. So relevancy is um, a gap between zero and approaching infinite in terms of the indefinite ratio and um, infinite itself, which has al applications in... Uh, in calculus, uh, but what we're doing also, and I was mapping out some some notes today, is I'm looking for implications in other fields, energy fields such as physics. Um, so let's let's get back to the relationship between zero and the indefinite ratio, or anything over zero, especially approaching infinite over zero. This leads to a limit, an asymptote, or a vertical asymptote if we understand relativity, which is another 